Hello, my name is Joe Richter. I'm a real estate broker and an associate broker with Keller Williams Realty. I'm licensed in California and Oregon. I prepare monthly reports that look at the market trends in 14 communities from Newport to Woodbridge through Irvine and Tribuco Canyon. These reports can be accessed on our website at joe-richter.com under a navigation link named Market Trends Monthly Update. Each report takes a focused look at a specific community or neighborhood. The goals are to establish and monitor home values, to define the market type as either a seller or buyer, and to set reasonable expectation for days on market. You will see we put a lot of data into our proprietary statistical models to prepare and present this report. You can also access the public-facing information off the MLS at joe-richter.com under the navigation link, Predefined Community Listings. This report focuses on the Woodbridge single-family homes. It covers the period from January 1st through June 23rd, 2020. The monthly headline is, New Listings Are Doing Poorly, Very Poorly. The Woodbridge single-family residence market is the only market segment of the 14 we monitor that had a poor June. All others are trending up. The Woodbridge single-family home market is currently a seller's market with 2.4 months of inventory. The blue column shows the average number of homes on the market is 53% below 2019 for the same period. The blue line shows current inventory levels are below any time in the prior eight years. Chapman University defines a buyer's market in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. Monitoring the active listing level and the new listings over the prior 90 days provides insight into trends that may be developing that impact home values and inventory levels. There are currently eight active listings. There were eight in our last report. There were 12 new listings over the prior 90 days. Five of those homes are still on the market. There were two new listings during the last 30 days. The three essential steps in selling and buying that define a market's condition are new listings, which reflect a willing seller, contracts written reflect a willing buyer, and closings are the execution of the technical and legal aspects of a contract by the buyer with lender cooperation. Compared to 2019, new listings are down 33%, contracts written are down 32%, and closings are down 28% in Woodbridge in the single-family homes. As noted earlier, the new listings are down 33% on a year-over-year -year basis. The Woodbridge single-family home market has not yet started to recover from the stay-at-home order. Pay attention to this graph over the next 60 days. On the positive side, Fannie Mae is forecasting very strong third and fourth quarters this year and the majority of the markets that we monitor have already shown strong resurgent. Contracts written are running 32% below the same period for 2019. A review of the column graph shows 2019 was 25% below the average of the prior years making it the worst year of the last five for Woodbridge single families. This means that to date, 2020 is the poorest year in the last six and quite probably the last 10 years. Closings are down 28% compared to the same period for 2019. Really not much needed to explain here. 
Home values are understandably the most important subject to sellers. Prices have been declining relative to 2019 since the COVID news struck. Currently, Woodbridge single-family home values are running up a slight two-tenths of a percent. This has shown a continued decline so far this year, and if the decline continues, it is likely prices will be slightly below 2019 by the time we do our July report. The average current list price for the active listings is a million two hundred and forty five thousand. The price range for the active listings is from nine hundred and ninety eight thousand to one million five hundred and forty nine thousand. Recent closings are used as a primary metric to determine pricing in appraisals and CMAs. Depending upon the amount of information available, a look-back period of 90 to 180 days is typically used to obtain sufficient data to make the estimate. We use a 90-day look-back period because our markets are robust and the shorter period reduces the distortion seasonality has on the data. For instance, Looking back six months now would mean we would have December 2019 and January 2020 data in our assumptions. This would be irrelevant information for today's market. Over the last 90 days, five homes have closed. Three homes closed below the revised list price. Two homes closed at the revised list price. And no homes closed above the revised list price. Days on market is the time from activating the listing on the MLS to getting an offer accepted and a purchase contract signed. As listing brokers, we always advise in a normal market the DOM time should be 30 to 45 days and suggest pricing accordingly. The DOM for all active listings is 82 days. It was 77 days at the end of May. It was 46 days in our report at the end of April. We should point out the DOM for the homes that have closed so far this year is 35 days. This means those early sales were occurring at a much faster pace. The number of months of inventory are the primary factor in defining a market type as either a seller or buyer's market. Chapman University defines a buyer's market here in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. The current inventory level is 2.4 months. It was 2.2 months in our May report. The 90-day supply is 4.8 months. It was also 4.8 months in May. It had doubled from 2.4 months in April. To aid in forecasting, we monitor three measures of inventory. The 90-day trends will give us a sense of the surge in new listings or contracts written. The 90-day inventory levels rose by 14%. Year-over-year -year inventory helps us measure how steady, consistent, or predictable a market is. Year-over-year -year inventory is down 53%. Monitoring the month-by-month -month comparison lets us check for abnormalities in the seasonal trends. June 2020 compared to June 2019 is down 68%. We get the data used in these reports direct from the MLS. We have 32 save searches set up, so we're always comparing the same data set for each community. We prepare reports like this for 14 of those communities. We put the raw data into our proprietary statistical models no one else has this presentation. Because we have the save searches, we prepared web pages for each community on our website so you can see the public information in our reports. These are live, dynamic, up to the second links. And these are the thumbnails uh, 
for each listing. They provide summary information. Click on any of the thumbnails to see the full detail that's available on the MLS. The map and these thumbnails are available on our website at joe-richter.com under the navigation link Predefined Community Listings. And this table shows all the current active listings. And this table shows all the closings so far this year. Notice we do statistical analysis looking for outliers for days on market, cumulative days on market, list price, and close price. And here is the last bit of detail. This chart shows the value range of the closings. The red dot represents the close price. The gray dot represents the original list price of the same transaction. Notice most of the gray dots are above the red dot, indicating a price reduction either during the listing to make it more attractive or during contract negotiation. Frequently, there are several gray dots below the red dots, which shows a price increase. The current market condition has precluded any of the gray dots being below the red dots at the moment. Effectively, this means buyers and economic conditions set the market value. In closing, we would like to say thank you for listening. We have tried to make this a high-level explanation of how the market is evolving, the view from 40,000 feet, so to speak. If you have questions or would like to discuss the market in more detail, we are here to help. If you have questions about forbearance or prices or DOM, anything at all, please contact me. The team I work with would love to be of service. Again, thank you very much.